In this module, we will look at conveyancing. At times, a solicitor representing the seller, known as a vendor, receives monies which they are required to keep on deposit until the occurrence of a certain event, generally completion of the transaction. How the transaction is recorded depends on how the money is retained by the solicitor, whether it's an agent or stakeholder. In either case, the deposit remains client monies. So let's look at the solicitor acting as agent. When this happens, a deposit is held on behalf of the vendor as client money and is therefore paid into the client bank account. The agent may then pass the money to the seller at any time, so the buyer may have difficulty recovering the deposit in the event of default by the seller. The double entries are debit the cash account to the value of the monies, client section, credit the client's ledger, both in the client section. Acting as stakeholder With the solicitor acting as stakeholder, the solicitor holds the money for both parties and cannot release it to either party without consent of the other. There's two separate stages when this happens. On receipt of the money, the solicitor should pay the money into the client bank account. But prior to the completion of the transaction, the money belongs to neither the vendor nor to the buyer. The solicitor keeps the money as a trustee until completion and opens a stakeholder ledger account to record receipt of the deposit. So you debit the cash account client section and credit the newly opened stakeholder ledger account also in the client section. On completion, you debit the stakeholder account and credit the client's ledger account, both in the client section. Note the money is not transferred between accounts. However, we should record the transfer between the client ledger accounts.